Hi folks, welcome to the Tech Lockdown Daily Webcast, where we will be discussing technology that will help us all during the lockdown period and beyond. My name is Zul, and I'll be your moderator for this session. Today, in this episode of our webcast, we have IBM Malaysia's Chief Technology Officer, Freddie Lee, who will talk about the various ways that technology is being leveraged by organizations in both the private and public sectors to deal with the current outbreak. With that being said, I will now pass over to Said, who will now begin with today's discussion. Okay, thanks, so and thank you everyone for joining us today. I know it's a Good Friday holiday in some places, so we really appreciate that uh, you made the time to attend this, this webcast. And of course, thank you, Freddie, for agreeing to share some of your views with us today. No worries. Glad to have, uh, thanks for having me, Said. I mean, uh, the reason uh, Freddie's on camera right now because is because I'm working from home like like a lot of people now and my bandwidth isn't so good. So we said for the sake of conserving bandwidth, uh, Freddie will be on camera today. <laughs> to get things started off, uh, how have things been for you and IBM since the movement restriction order was enforced? Well, I guess the, the only difference is that uh, it's an extended work from home period for us because uh, working from home is a culture that is not alien to us in IBM. Uh, we have that flexibility. During this uh, so-called uh, movement restriction order, um, it's been extended basically. So, uh, so we, we, we can't go and see our clients. So instead of a face-to-face -face meeting, we have to depend on technology to uh, meet up with them through you know, WebEx and, and so on and so forth. And our internal meetings as well as education uh, is also done through uh, the teleconferences. All right, great. So our focus subject today uh, will be AI, but more specifically, it's related to the COVID-19 situation. Uh, so in your opinion, Freddie, how important is the role of technology and AI as we face the current global pandemic? Well, I think uh, if you look across the board, um, whether it's an enterprise uh, or small and medium businesses, we are very dependent on technology to conduct our businesses today. And because of this uh, MCO, um, technology has come, has come to the fore, basically. We are so dependent on it uh, during this period where social distancing is the current norm. Um, so we are resorting to video calls uh, for our meetings uh, instead of face-to-face -face meetings. Yeah, and, um, and if you look at it, we are using technology to connect with each other. Uh, many of us are communicating through video conferencing, like what we are doing now. Um, in IBM, we use uh, WebEx if we want to have video, and, but we are also uh, looking at Slack, um, which is something similar to uh, WhatsApp. Uh, so but we, we use Slack within IBM to communicate things like if you want to report a problem or an issue, and then we have uh, experts to look at it to solve issues. Um, outside of work, of course, uh, for, uh, from a social perspective, you know, we connect with our family and friends uh, through, you know, uh, WhatsApp video calls and, and things like that. Um, as far as AI is concerned, I, I believe AI is used a lot now. And with, I'll share with you some examples later on uh, what we're doing with, uh, with AI uh, across the world, and, and in particular with this uh, COVID-19 situation. But uh, one thing I want to highlight to the audience here today is uh, we're also doing our part um, in contributing uh, technology to in, in, in our fight uh, for this uh, to find a cure for COVID-19. So in IBM, um, I'm not sure if you've heard of our supercomputer uh, codenamed Summit. Uh, it was the most powerful computer or supercomputer in 2019 when it was uh, a benchmark. And uh, we're actually um, lending the compute power to the White House Office of Science and Technology. Um, for them um, to use our supercomputer in their fight to uh, look for treatments as well as potential cures. So we're lending the researchers our compute power up to 330 petaflops contained in uh, 16 wow. machines, um, 775,000 CPUs, um, 34,000 GPUs and counting. Right. So actually, uh, if you look at the specs of the supercomputer, this is like a uh, uh, Bitcoin miners' dream, yeah. 